don't know what we're doing. Beard fingers. Ooh. Help us. Hey spooks, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Glamour Bat, and you may have noticed a few things that are different. For one thing, I now have bangs. I got a new haircut a few days ago. My Christmas tree is gone finally. I know you're thinking, thank goodness, it's gone. It's not Christmas time. Whatever, I held on to it as long as I could. And the third thing is, I have a special guest here today. And today's video will actually be a special <clears throat> edition of Spooky Tales. I'm gonna feel like it's the movie. Actually, you know. Hi, I'm Nico. I'm a friend. And oh. Nico has a few stories dealing with the. Well, you guys know what it is. I hope they know what it is. This is what it so is. So Nico has a story. The wonderful Ouija, Ouija. board. Ouija. 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 Whatever. Ouija. 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 So you have how many stories today? I have three stories. Wow. Three stories. Three stories, Featuring. but only one of them is featured of my experience with the other two. So, shall I begin with my story? So, disclaimer, if you do like playing with Ouija boards, or if you've ever been interested in playing with one, I personally have not. Don't. Nico says don't, but i just doing a disclaimer. If you want to do it, go ahead, do that. We're not telling you what you can and can't do. Just be wary, listen to these stories, and kind of understand, like, what can happen. All right. This is this. It may be a board game ish at the boys <laughs> at the boys at the store. They may sell it, and it may be in the kids section. But this is this is a serious matter to contact spirits. It's scary. Be careful. First story I had. I had somebody back in South Florida. Where I'm originally from. It was a small little apartment complex, and there was like an alleyway. And a few months, I was probably like 14 or 15. There was one of the neighbors in the area and he hung himself on a laundry clothes blind where you like fold laundry and stuff and I wasn't there when it happened but I heard from the management and like the news was there and everything so that was pretty scary. A few months went by and one of my close friends of mine she did not believe in like ghosts and spirits and all that so I was like I want to prove her a point, and like, I love like the style of like the Ouija, I think it's like... The aesthetic. The aesthetic of it. Behind it, it's like, it's it's dangerous. It's dark. So I wanted to prove a point to her that like, things will happen. I have, I have to have a Ouija shirt, and if you play it on any format, you can even create the format, I don't recommend you to, but if you want to, like you can, and for this you can just use like a normal like shot glass. I'm not trying to tell you how to make an Ouija board. I don't recommend it. Which I did not know that before for like almost my whole life that I had known about them. I thought that you had to play on a board game, so that's totally new. Yeah, that this is, is this product. is actually borrowed. This is, we borrowed this, this. Yeah, this is actually the product. Thanks, this friend. The, everything that's on the board was on the shirt. And we put it on a flat surface and used the shot glass, like I was saying. And me and my friend and my aunt were going to do it because I wanted to see it for my own experience and then to also prove my friend wrong that something could happen. So we had a notepad and pen close by to write whatever it was gonna spell out. And at first, like, nothing really happened. So we asked a question like, is someone there? And then it replied yes. And none of us were moving it. And it's just like on a flat board, just, just a t-shirt. None of us were, you barely put pressure on this, like at all, that something actually does happen. And this is a t-shirt, this is all 100% real, like this is legit, and I'm not, not make up, like this is a story that has happened to me, and like, gives me goosebumps just talking about it, cause like, I was part of this experience. We asked if someone was there, and it said yes, and then we were trying to find out who it was, and it did not. Then, for like a moment, it was getting a little rough, it would have some like, spots where it like, would not reply, or my friend was just like, oh, like, she was just fooling around, it was bad. And she was not believing, and she was like, oh, nothing's gonna happen, but yet we just had it say oh, yes. Geez. So it had a little rough spots, but then it started going a little faster because she started like laughing. It was like, nothing's gonna happen to us, whatever. Oh, God. So she was it's like, like a horror movie. Yeah, that she, always yeah it was pretty much <laughs> insert the name of this as so and so a movie, but um, she was just like, yeah, nothing's gonna happen, screw this. Ugh. And then it started like going a little bit faster and like 
my aunt is not moving in and my we're, our fingers are like barely touching and I was just like, well, this is happening. Like this, this is really happening. And it had a little bit of words. You just had a, that's where we had a notepad because it will tend to do that. Not everything's going to be perfectly spelled out. Sometimes you just flip a letter in front and then it'll make sense of what the word was. So it wind up spelling out to us. F U. Talk nice to me. Here's my friend who was really not believing. And once that, like, her eyes just like bulged and we said goodbye. Like, always, always say goodbye. If you're yeah. going to play with one, say goodbye. Otherwise you leave the door, right? You'd call it yeah, that? The, the door. door open. Yeah. But definitely like it said, F you talk nice to me. And like, that was it. <laughs> we were, that was literally, I was just like, oh my God, that like that happened. Don't mock cause <laughs> they, know. they will. And even though, like I said, it will take like a moment or so for them to like reply possibly. We all got an experience out of that. And I had very dim street lights, and I had an alleyway, and that is where, mm -hmm. earlier in the story, where the guy committed suicide. And I had this, like, big tree in, like, the little parking lot, and then alleyway, I'm close, literally right by it. My friend's mom was coming to pick her up, and, like, we were still kind of shaken up about the whole thing that had happened, and then I was like, see, I told you, you don't mock anything, especially when it comes to something like that, because there are stories. I'm just... So, we were waiting for her mom to come pick her up, and... Before her mom came, we just looked down the alleyway and it, it, it looked very darker than you than usual because like it was dim, but it, like it looked completely dark. And we were going past the tree. As we were going past the tree, straight down into like the alleyway, just like freaking out, thinking about it. There was like a dark figure standing there in the alleyway. Like mm. I was not even not. It wasn't just me. It wasn't just her. It was both mm -hmm. of me and my friend and I. Like, we both saw it. And we were literally just froze, and we're just like, oh my god, do you see what I- No one was there. There was no people. This was like at 10 o'clock, 10-ish at night. Mm -hmm. The same spot I was standing was where the guy committed suicide. And it was no face. Mm -hmm. The person didn't move, and it was like we were standing, and then we just went past this big tree, and then looked down. We went back to the tree, and then looked back, and probably wouldn't have been there. So, it just stood there. And we couldn't believe it, it was literally, mm -hmm. it was just dark figure just standing, like right there. Like she literally was like, oh no, it's your fault, you know who you are. <laughs> Cause you didn't believe, but now she believes like a hundred percent. Yeah, that was literally just like a very intense experience. Gives me goosebumps because I told my friend and my aunt involved herself because really quick story about her. When she was young, she played it with her best friend because back then when it first came out like everyone was like oh my god we have to play it we have to get it ghost cool stuff that's what they were doing back then so they were like oh i mean we're still doing it now yeah they're still doing it now but like when it first came out and people were just like oh we have to play it and if you're not playing so you're not cool because then when something happens to you how cool is that cool. that nice. makes you cool <laughs> so my aunt and her best friend played with it when they were like in their teenage years they had like candles and they played with it in like a dark basement type oh, God. area in like, Safe. in like Maryland I think yeah so when they were playing with it the candles blew out and there was like a window they didn't they lived in like a house off from like once again street lights and like people and society they're very like hidden away and they looked into the window and they saw a face and they like screamed for their lives and like did she ran. like describe the face was yeah. it like insidious Kind of, yeah. Like, like the red face demon. Oh gosh, no. So, yeah. Absolutely it was in not. the window. They slept over each other's house that night because after what happened, like, they were shaken up and they told their parents and their parents were upset. She believes now. You believe now, friend. Name title. Movie. Like, this is so... Uh, there's... Why does she... Wooden. When she does that... She sees... There's the a plastic thing right here. Yeah. Don't do that. You'll stick your eye out. This is a serious matter, but it ain't really a toy. And sometimes they're pink, don't let it fool you. Yeah, they're making all different styles of this. Like, I'm not against that. I've played it and I like, this. I like the aesthetic. Did you have a more recent one? So I worked at a haunted attraction that had, we had Luigi boards. Yeah, we had, we had, a, we had boards. <laughs> we didn't just have one. And they actually got cut from parts of the houses, I think. And I'm not sure why. They wind up putting them in like a storage closet and putting like salt around the board. I guess on Halloween, one of the, someone brought in the game because I guess the makeup artist played with it that very night. 
and said like one of the performers role in the house and that performer was like literally freaked out for the rest of the night and on Halloween. So late at night, like and performer was freaked out and said in the scare spot that he had that he saw like a little boy mm. like behind him. Mm. His scare spot was like super compact and small that nobody could be in there but him. It's meant for one person. And he was not even kidding. He was like shaking up. Like he was literally in verge of tears. That's how bad it was that he saw this little boy. He turned oh around gosh. after scaring because then he turned back and then turned back around to see just like earlier in my story. Like when we saw the black figure just standing like right there and like, like that alleyway was like darker than the usual on that night especially. It's probably because after we played with this it, it really changed up that night. But um, yeah, it really freaked him out and yeah, it would that freaked me out. Was. Like these were originally going to be in scenes of the mm. house. See, that's creepy. Like even having this and like we borrowed this, the board is like over like, yonder. But like even having this like in my place right now definitely gives me chills, especially like hearing all of these stories too. But yeah, that's that was a pretty spooky experience for me and I, I will never forget it, like for sure. Be cautious because yeah. things do happen. Cautious just, of what you say. Yeah, do. Closing and opening doors. Yes, yeah, just, just... Just be safe. <laughs> be do safe. it in a well-lit yeah. room with a lot of people. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on to thank my you channel. for having me on your channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed the special edition of Spooky tales. Woo. We're not very spooky, but these stories are. Unless you're one of those people that you're like, nah, didn't happen. <laughs> like and subscribe to my channel, Glamorbat, if you like these stories and want to hear more or just really enjoyed my channel in general. I'll probably have Nico on here more often. He is one of my best friends, so. Make a comment in the comment section if you want to see me. No, just this is her channel. Just right. I love Nico. Ooh, Nico's scary. So thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching, and I hope you have a great day. Or night. Wherever, wherever you, you are. are. Bye.